This morning, my wife and I were helping our two grade school sons build out their lesson plan and work plans for the day. Their teachers send uh, their activities or post them on Google Classroom and um, also their sports activities have been uh, sending out uh, workouts and training they can do at home. And the extreme at home uh, training is one of the items that we look at as a family and print out the sheets and show our kids the videos and um, kind of give them uh, the information so that they can go and implement. And as we were doing that today, uh, we could, couldn't help but think about um, an important an important characteristic that is built into the extreme handbook and that is athlete ownership during this trying time we have as a family been talking about the positive things that we can pull from this um, situation and growth and coming out on the other end of it even better than we were when this all first started those have been constant uh, points of communication that we have been discussing. And the ownership that is now required of our sons is, uh, it's been amazing to watch. Um, it's been really neat to see them complete their activities together to interpret and um, get creative in the drills and the things that they need to get accomplished and ask questions of their teachers um, for the homework that they need to do at school. And it's been um, a real blessing for us as a family to see that. Um, I'm proud to see that concept of ownership uh, that's built into the extreme way. Um, I'm glad that we're being uh, forced to really expose that and put that into action. And, and I just applaud all the families and all the teams and coaches that have been uh, encouraging that ownership with your student athlete um, and, and continue to do the same. They will become more independent. Uh, they will become um, more self-sufficient, which will allow them to be better versions of themselves when they get back on the field. Keep it up, Extreme Family, Extreme Practice.